Hello and welcome to that beautiful opening salvo from the mighty Montana Tier 10 American Battleship, of course. There's only one and only of that. And of course it misses. But anyway, this game is quite interesting and it will focus on a couple of players, myself, and the work of that Kitakazi, the Kaglis is my waifu. God, I think that's a Game of Thrones reference. I could be utterly wrong there. It shows you how much I watched the series when it was out. But anyway, but that's the first of the three problems of this game. I say three, there's a Conqueror division on the enemy side. Yep, this is um, a good old fashioned burn fest. So AP versus HE. With me taking the AP and clearly everybody else firing high explosive and dropping bombs and you name it everything other than IP so let's get into it so our team is deciding to push into A at this point there's not many DDs on each side one each side and the Kitakazi has dived into the B cap and I must admit I thought he actually overextended but he's very cleverly kept himself um, far enough away and smoked up so the aircraft carrier can't get him and he's pulled back out so he knows where he is and there's the Chapayev sailing in a beautiful straight line so let's see if we can do some damage shots out I could actually do some damage if this hits come on right, second opening salvo come on oh it's looking good oh yeah baby uh, Russian bias damn it he did not die but we did knock at least two-thirds of his health off and quite rightly he's shooting the high explosive back at me call to the rest of the team to try and get that guy the carrier is obliging and almost takes him out I try and sell fire salvo but the island is in the way but one of my friendlies does the deed and we do kill him taking out a very dangerous cruiser however he was being a little bit like a battleship and sailing in the straight line so, moving swiftly on to the south, and the Prince Eugen is going for it, he's playing a bit of a Hail Mary. But looking about what ships are down here, there's two cruisers and a battleship, but the battleship has come, the, their enemy battleship is a little further north. So I don't mind showing a broadside at this point. Yes, I will take damage, but we're not going to take a super amount of damage. And I want to take the support ships out first and isolate this Prince Eugen. Shots out, and oh, again, shaved two-thirds of his health off. And that's going to make keep his head down, which is more important than the actual killing of him. He is going to, if I was him, I would reverse, and here comes the aircraft carrier. Took two fires, repaired it, more fires. You know, there's more where that came from. And now because that carrier has, sorry, the cruiser has ducked behind the headland, he can get shots at me, but now we're in a beautiful position to take on the Prince Eugen. And equally again shaved off three quarters of his health, but no kill. With a bit of luck, our friends can kill him before he can get um, anywhere close to our lines. Two cruisers down the enemy's side, and does the Hail Mary work? No, the Neptune is uh, wise to it. So the enemy battleship is the Turpits down here. And we're just going to try and see if we can take this cruiser out. But more importantly, we do spot the destroyer. But I'm not firing at him. Does he poke his nose out far enough? Come on, shells. Come on. Oh, yes. Bit overkill with another citadel. And this uh, whole flank is gone. And we absolutely deck these three guys. And uh, three cruisers, which is brilliant news for our team. However, we did spot that DD, and I am still spotted. And we're getting fired at by high explosive. I call on the Neptune to give me a hand here. So Neptune, follow me into the cap, mainly because we know the DD's there, and he has got hydro. Uh, but unfortunately, he decides that the Turpit is the better one to attack, which I wouldn't like to get to close quarter combat with the Turpits. Thank you very much. So we're pretty much on our own in here. And I'm trying to work out what I can do. Do I go for it? Do I not? Do I pull back? There's going to be torps kicking around. I don't have hydro. I'm a bit of a big, you know, target. Neptune has definitely decided the turpits is the thing to go for. But 
So it's a bit frustrating to say the least, but we're going to have to try and take this because if we fail back at the end of the day, the DD is there. Just been slowly spotted, meaning I know what direction these torpedoes are coming in and we split the difference and get away from it. But we are still detected. I'm trying to work out who I've got around me and lo and behold, I've got the Italian cruiser here um, supporting me in this Aviva. So I don't mind pushing up a bit momentarily unspotted and that's the reason the dd could say has made a mistake because now i know exactly where he is regardless because he's popped his smoke screen it does also mean that you know it's going to be a bit of cat and mouse and we finally take out the turpits um and the neptune does so he did get his prize but i could have done with him this side definitely unfortunately we do lose our battleship in the process as well so was it a good trade we are up on ships so you can't really argue too much so we're pushing into this smoke we've got to go for it the cap has still been contested so i know he's still blooming close and there he is within secondary range probably should have ap um high explosive loaded but this is all about ap damn it take a huge chunk of his damage the um italian ship also takes up a huge amount i'm surprised he survived that I'm expecting more torpedoes here, so I slam the brakes on, throw them in the throttle, and there we have his torpedoes. And we miss both salvos. The enemy carrier still wants my blood. And you can just see the bombs coming in, and once again he does hit, but we do not die. Shots out again. Oh God, I've got to get him. Down to 23 health. God damn it. And so we collect the close combat award. And now I find myself a little bit out of position. All my friends have gone to the west of the island ahead. And I am to the east side where all the enemy are. However, I am unspotted for the time being. But that carrier has got me in his sights. And you can see he's incoming. <laughs> he's coming in. And sure enough, the Conqueror is having a pop at long range. Ugh. It's not a place I want to be. I think, well, what can I do? Do I want to cap this from a team? Or do I actually want to lend some fire support? Oh, he's showing a beautiful broadside. It's too good an opportunity. Shots out. AP loaded. Do I get do I judge the speed? We'll lose another one. Do I judge the speed? Oh, sadly not. If that had been a little bit further forward, I would have got it. And here comes the carrier player. He's come over the island, so he's going to negate some of my anti-air, which is a guy who knows what his stuff is. And he's going to drop his torpedoes, and I'm going to at least take one of these. Possibly even two. There's one. And we missed the second, thankfully. He's going to come in for a second round. I can't select fire here. And you can definitely tell all that high explosive damage I've taken has really knocked my AA out. I'll take further two torpedoes, but thankfully they don't do much damage. There's the Conqueror, my arch nemesis in this game. He's been flinging high explosive for a long time. And I'm like, right, i got to get out of here. And the only way is north. And I'm the wrong side of the island. All the enemy can attack me. And I've been detected again. So there's something relatively oh, close to me at the moment. Oh, I got undetected at the time being. So I really am thinking about my choices at this point. I can hide behind the island. However, the carrier player will sooner or later get me. And spot me for those conquerors and anybody else on this side. Um, and he's still coming in. Or I can make a move and try and get to my side of the island. To relative safety of my friendly ships. And there's the British cruiser there. The tier 10 British cruiser heavy cruiser just opened up and here comes the fire one fire at the moment another conqueror he managed to get another salvo across me run a bomb ring run over me oh dear this is not good but i am in a position to grip a little bit of crossfire until i get behind those islands so exactly what i did plan to do Come on, I'm waiting. He didn't move. I was tempted to fire, but I'm trying to save my life as much as possible at the moment. And is he going to be obliging? He is. He's turned broadside. Shots out. 
And the enemy carry player is coming in yet again. Another fire. And oh, good hit, but not no cigar at this time. I'm going to have to do it with the second salvo. Enemy carry, another couple of torpedoes. This is probably going to hit as well, both of these. One, two, more fire. And now a flood. I save as possible long as possible and now he's showing a beautiful broadside shots out and i can get behind this island in relative safety come on oh yes good night vienna devastating strike Whew. and i get complimented by my team by a good salvo and i'm now safe finally from all that high explosive damage it's just the carrier that i have to worry about which is still Difficult to say the least because I'm so been pummeled so much that he can certainly, as he's demonstrating, can get two at least two runs off against me. And I was coming in with rocket planes. My fighter is up. Hopefully, he does something. I find a bit of hit or miss nowadays. The fighter consumable and get away with no fire. Come on, shots out. Does he get cause of fire? And of course. One single flipping hit. And I miss mine. And he causes a fire. And I can't put it out. I don't know if the Kitakaze or um, Calagos is my waifu is doing this deliberately. Or he doing civilian skin. But he's laying a beautiful smoke screen for me. And I'm just going to use it. It's going to help me out just enough to repair my damage. And we lose another ship. We are very ahead on points and on damage here and kills and yes get in there thank you bring up the confederate ward and boy did that feel good after all the high explosive spam i've had to deal with up until now get inside the smoke screen repair the damage and here comes the carry player again but hopefully now this has got something else to worry about like a destroyer and sure enough, the destroyer takes the flak of the carrier. Do I kill him? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, he turns into the shot and I bounce. I think ricocheting off his turret there. I am spotted though, so I'm expecting return fire anytime soon. And there's the carrier. And boy, am I intrigued. Do I or do I not go for the carrier here? I might. Like, you can see me thinking about it. No, going for. And then I get another fire from the Conqueror. Repair that because I'm in the smoke so I will be able to stop the fire I thought no let's go for the more important target let's go for the conqueror see if we can nail this guy yep the enemy aircraft player is um and carry player is going off ground DD he's on low health can I get this kill more high explosives bam another fire Ugh. come on thank you and good night <laughs> <laughs> so with a base uh, um, damage of 182k we are doing particularly well and now it's all about how much damage can we get and do I get my Kraken enemy carry player is running for the hills I don't blame him shots out I'm going to have to let this fire burn itself out because I can't do anything about it come on then do I get a hit Yes, I do, and a good solid hit at two. Got 183. Can I get any higher? Come on. We're almost. We're definitely in ascendancy here. I think the reason for the triple conquer is the the recent uh, rewards where you have to collect, get that 20 fires in a single game or something. Recent missions that have been available. Oh, come on! Any more for any mores? Shots out. Oh, it's showing a bit more broadside this time. Going forwards. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, no. No, not this time. But it gives me a chance to, while we destroy this, to say thank you for the response to my last video. Um, it's been really, really good. Um, I don't know how often I can do a like equipment video because it's very rare I change my equipment. But it did very well and the feedback was excellent. So hopefully I can do some similar things in the future. 
maybe around museums or something. I'm not sure yet, but hopefully we can do some more quick reviews because I do find the stuff which is for gaming not that required really. Anyway, come on then. They use it as a monocle, a tagline rather than anything else. Can we get this final kill? Shots out. Can we? Can we? No, no. Sadly not. So let's go to the results screen. And what a result screen. 197,000 points of damage, six Citadel hits, and an assisting capture with a plethora of medals. Coming top of the team with over 2,500 base XP. And Kangris is my wifey, bringing up second place with 1,700. Thank you for that smoke, man. You did very well. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and YouTube. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.